and as it got closer to recruiting time and whatnot, um, it was certainly a possibility. But um, obviously I'm here and happy here. Right, just what kind of added motivation is that though, playing in front of a lot of friends and family in front of the in-state school? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a big game. It's, uh, it's a big game for both teams. Um, they're the defending Big Ten champs, and that's our goal is to be Big Ten champs, so it's a big one, and it's the first Big Ten game of the year. So there's a lot of different factors that make it a big game, and going home and playing in front of a lot of people is fun, and obviously it makes you want to play really well in front of all your friends and family. Right. Just to go back in the role that you're going back in as you know the number one tight end, coming off the game you had, does that add to it a little bit? Um, I mean, it was going to be special no matter what. Um, it's a big game, but with Gabe going down and having to play more, it obviously adds to you know whatever the reps and the amount of stuff that you got to get done and stuff like that. I don't know if it really makes any more pressure or anything, but just more stuff you got to do and um, more is what I guess was expected of you. What kind of challenges does Wisconsin's defense present to you guys? Uh, they run around the ball. Um, they're very sound and they get around the ball and uh, and they're an attacking defense. So we got to play well in the trenches and uh, when we get shots on the perimeter. We got to make sure that we make our opportunities because uh, they're a feisty group and um, they've played us well the last couple years and we got to really uh, be locked in. It's going to be a tough environment in front of all their fans and crowds. So we got to be locked in and ready to go. Have you talked to Gabe? How is he holding up? Um, he's doing all right. He, uh, his surgery went really well, and uh, me and Gabe are really close, so it was hard on both of us. I didn't want to obviously see him go down. He's one of my best friends, and uh, but I think he's kind of used it as a, you know, things happen for a reason type of thing, and um, learning from it, and um, hopefully he'll get another year to come back and play next year and everything, so hopefully he'll um, take advantage of it and just grow from it. Did he say anything to you after you know, he knew he was done for the year? Did you say anything to him after that came out? Um, yeah, we talked, and he just said, hey, go make plays. Um, like I said, we've been teammates for three, four years now, and uh, we know each other really well. And and he said, hey, I'm down, and um, go make some plays and play like I know you can. And I told him I'm going to try to hold it down as best I can for us. And uh, and everyone stepped up last week. I mean, Shoot Sterling got his first catch, and Beatty had a big catch and blocked well all game. So all of us stepped up. It wasn't just me. And um, all of us put it on our shoulders to when he went down that we all got to play that much better. Just uh...